Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Rude Words. So in the 2.4 patch notes, uh, we got a very interesting little tidbit of information that the Insight Rune Word was going to be available to use on bows. And uh, in uh, anticipation of this, I have created uh, several items that can be used to uh, test out the idea of uh, an Insight Rune Word in a bow. So right now we have a uh, Grand Matron bow here, which I have uh, inputted the correct statistics for a uh, Insight in a bow. Um, I also have a, uh, a Hydra bow here, which is specifically used for um, the same purpose. So you can kind of test it out on a mercenary. Um, we also have uh, several other bows, for instance. So we've got the uh, Bloodbite Gothic bow, which, uh, which is going to represent the uh, insight in a gothic bow. We also have the, um, uh, where is it, uh, the, the, the stag bow. I put it in a stag bow just so we could test it out on lower level characters. Um, and we also have the uh, matriarchal bow, uh, which, is, uh, which is also kind of nice. And, um, and between all these bows, you should be able to get a feeling for um, what kind of, you know, Thing you can use this particular insight rune word for uh, how powerful the mercenary is going to be, um, whether or not the uh, you know you would like to use a Act One rogue mercenary over a uh, you know Act Two meditation mercenary, for instance, um, and that's kind of the whole purpose of them giving the insight rune word to um, to a bow girl, right? Is so that the bow girl can literally run around with meditation, and. Um, so here we have it. We have a, uh, a Hydra bow, which is the highest level one. So if you were going to make a, uh, an insight for a bow girl, like at a higher level, you would probably choose maybe like a Hydra bow or perhaps a, uh, a great bow. Great bow is a little bit faster. Could be a, a good choice. And of course, you still get all the nice buffs from it. You get the plus the skills. Uh, that's actually the mist bow. My bad. Hold on. Um, <laughs> the mist bow is also uh, available for download, by the way, guys. Uh, where is the... Um, where is the the one the one the one the one? No, no. I don't see the Hydra bow. That's the uh, mist bow. Seem to be missing the Hydra bow. I have the uh, the mist bow, but I don't have the uh, the Insight Hydra bow. I'll have to edit that back in later. Not sure where that one disappeared to, but that's the um. That's the Gothic Bow, which is level 27, which is probably the one that you're going to make. So, like, if you're leveling up a character and you're just trying to get yourself meditation and you find yourself a four-socket Gothic Bow, this is this is probably your uh, your go-to bow for a meditation bow. So you have meditation on your um, on your bow girl. And there's there's kind of some benefits of doing it on a bow girl as opposed to um, to making a insight polearm. Um, the uh, Insight Act 1 Rogue Mercenary is going to be a little bit harder to kill. She stays back. She doesn't kind of run in there as much. She's not going to die as often. So it's kind of, uh, it's kind of nice to have her have that particular bow as opposed to um, the, uh, the, the Act 1 Merc. Of course, I mean the Act 2 Merc. Of course, you're not going to get access to the, the auras, which is definitely a thing. So, um, you know, there's, there's definitely some issues there revolving around um, the aura problems. But with the changes that they're making to the Act 1 Rogue Mercenary, um, for instance, they're going to be giving the Act 1 Cold Mercenary a Freezing Arrow instead of Cold Arrow. Um, the Fire Mercenary is going to have Exploding Arrow instead of uh, Fire Arrow. And both of these changes are going to be pretty big buffs to the character. Um, they're also buffing Infravision to make it have a larger radius. So uh, Infravision will also be stronger as well, which means uh, I say I say Infravision, but that's from Diablo 1. Um, uh, inner Sight, my bad, Inner Sight. Uh, inner Sight, they're going to be buffing up Inner Sight to have a larger radius. So that's going to be pretty cool. And um, I think all in all, uh, you know, the, the Insight Rune Word in a bow is, uh, has been very well received. Um, I mean, here I am using the Insight in a, in a Grand Matron bow. And, uh, and it's pretty powerful. Um, let me uh, swap over my arrows so I can actually utilize this bow. And, uh, and it's, a, it's a pretty powerful bow. It's not like the best bow in the world. But, uh, but in, as an early level Amazon, you could totally make this. And, uh, and it would have really nice effect on your character.
I mean, the plus three uh, bow and crossbow skills on this, you know, because obviously I made it in a um, an Amazon only base, uh, makes for a really nice effects. You get the uh, critical strike bonus. You get the attributes, you get the huge attack rating bonus, which is very, very nice. 250% bonus to attack rating is going to help you out a ton as a boson. Um, you also get the uh, the faster cast rate if you happen to have yourself some sort of teleport item. could help you out a little bit. And um, even the 2 to mana after each kill and the 5 to attributes, I mean, it's it's a really powerful item. And uh, especially if you are a... Um, like, for instance, an elemental damage zone, like a boson that's using a freezing arrow or a boson that's using... Um, Exploding arrow, those skills tend to be very high mana cost, and you burn through mana just, just super duper fast. So having something that's going to replenish your mana, like on a regular basis on a boson, is going to be pretty awesome. And of course, you know, using it on a mercenary seems to be the main purpose, because a lot of the patch, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but a lot of the patch has been about buffing up the the unused mercenaries. You know, the Act 1 mercenary, the Act 3 mercenary, and the Act 5 mercenary. And so, of course, giving the Act 1 mercenary the ability to use an insight uh, in the form of a bow as opposed to in the form of a polearm is just absolutely amazing. And um, honestly, I think that um, that this is, this is just a really good move on their part because it doesn't really take away from the Act 2 mercenary. It doesn't make people not want to use the Act 2 mercenary, but it gives people more of a reason to choose an Act 1 mercenary instead maybe you favor the act one mercenary maybe you like the act one mercenary to hang back so he's not dying all the time uh, maybe you like the fact that he has the, the freezing arrow now uh, the, or she has the freezing arrow sorry because the freezing arrow is going to be massive crowd control um, if you guys have never seen a freezing arrows on in action let me let me do you a favor and bring you over to a freezing arrows on just for just for fun so i have a, uh, a freezing arrows on right here and of course she's naked but it doesn't matter. That's the beauty of uh, the freezing arrows on is literally you can kill things very effectively just simply because you can freeze them all. And uh, it's not going to be as effective as a player controlling it because, of course, a player can can choose exactly where their arrows are going. Uh, but uh, but as a, a freezing arrows on, you're going to be able to uh, to really crowd control the situation. And if you have the Act 1 Rogue Mercenary running you're going to be doing really well. Let me just throw an uh, ice blank on. Why not? So let's go somewhere where there's not cold immunes. That is important. Let's go to River of Flame. And uh, let me show you the kind of the ridiculousness that comes with Freezing Arrow. And of course, first thing I run into is cold immunes. That's okay. I've got a plan for you. It would be so nice if this character had an insight because she burns through mana like nobody's business. She always burns through mana so fast. You can see my mana pool is just like dying. Good lord, ain't nothing but cold immunes here. Hold on, let me let me let me go somewhere where there's not a massive amount of cold immunes. I'm not trying to show off exploding arrow. I'm trying to show off a uh, freezing arrow. That's just silly. Uh, let's go to far oasis. There's usually not a lot of cold immunes there. Exploding arrow is fun. So uh, so here's a group of monsters, and uh, and look at how just amazing everything dies in, in shards of ice chunks. I mean, you freeze them; they they can't move. And then, even if they uh, even if they do, uh, you know, get close to you, you just freeze them in place. I mean, this this kind of action is great for a rogue mercenary. She's going to be locking things in place on a regular basis. She's going to be freezing them, and she's going to be blowing them up into ice chunks. Um, now, obviously, this would be a bad choice for a necromancer or someone who wants bodies, because uh, because she's going to be exploding all the corpses. There's not going to be any corpses left. For your, um, for your, your, you know, your summoning of skeletons or whatever it is that you're doing, and that, that's the kind of power that you're bringing to the table with the Act One Rogue Mercenary. And then you're also now you can throw in meditation on there, which is definitely going to be very nice. The um, unfortunately, the crowd control does not work versus cold immunes, so that's uh, that's one downside. 
But uh, but trust me when I say that having the ability to freeze targets like that is is freaking amazing. Um, so anyway, if you want to download this uh, this file, you're more than welcome to download it. Uh, I will have it in the description below. Um, you can uh, you can download the file and you can play around with these uh, these insight bows. Um, since they're going to be coming anyway, well, we're going to be able to uh, play around with them eventually. But uh, but as of right now, um, it's just going to be a file with uh, with the bows in it. There's not going to be anything else. So when you go into the file, you're not going to get this character. Um, if you want this character, you can download her also. She's on the mist the mist rune word video. Uh, but what you're going to find is you're just going to find a character that has the bows in the inventory, and that's it. It's just going to be five bows, and that's about it. All right. And um, <laughs> as always, thanks for watching, guys, and, uh, and keep watching.